Y'all, it's Maroon here as usual to remind you that if you do enjoy this audio to please like and subscribe as I would very much appreciate that and feel free to leave feedback in the comments. With that out of the way, hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> I wondered when you'd finally get around to summoning me. You cut it pretty close, you know. Your predecessor's contract only extended three months into their successor's reign. <laughs> you ask my name as though you don't know exactly who I am already. But fine. I suppose a formal introduction won't hurt. I am Cat, the Archdemon. I'm a class above ordinary demons, and it gives me a great deal of power. Power that you need. There is no need for you to introduce yourself. I already know exactly who you are. You're the latest mortal to ascend to the throne of the Kingdom of Orek. And that means that after receiving the crown, you learned about the real secret behind Orek's success. Me. Oreca as a nation is destined for failure. It has hardly any natural resources, and is surrounded on all sides by much larger, wealthier kingdoms who exploit and abuse their citizens. The only thing your kingdom has going for it is a commitment to providing for its people. But that does precious little good when you don't have anything to provide. The first ruler of Oreca. Queen Archria had big plans. She wanted to create a true paradise, but she didn't have the means to make it happen. She managed to get her hands on a small territory, but only because it was worthless and no one else wanted it. In her desperation, she tried everything she could think of to find a way to achieve her dream. Bribery to magic, none of it worked. Finally, as a last resort, she came to me. You know the rest, of course. I granted Orak with ideal weather, fertile soil, and all sorts of good fortune, all in exchange for a contract with her. Every leader of Orak since has forged their own contract as well. The citizens remain blissfully unaware of the reason behind their happy little lives. I trust that I've covered everything you were just about to ask. It's tiresome to answer the same questions over and over. Unless there's anything else, let's get to the contract, shall we? <laughs> well, that's nothing new. I'd say about a little over three quarters of my summons tell me that they're against forging a contract. But I've yet to have a single one of them stick to it. If you really didn't want to enter a contract with me, you wouldn't have bothered summoning me in the first place. You're trying to decide right now, hoping I'll give you a reason to turn me down. So tell me, why is it that you're against the contract? Religious reasons? Distrust of my intentions? Or maybe you just feel like it's cheating. <laughs> it hardly matters in the end. You can't feed hungry mouths with noble intentions and unwavering morals. The question is, do you want to make the contract now, or do you want to pretend to take the high road for a while and let a few thousand of your subjects starve first? That's what the king two generations ago did. Yes. The Great Famine, that's your dear little kingdom's default state. The king put on a brave face and said he didn't need me. And then, let the real consequence of not entering a contract go even beyond that. I'm a generous archdemon, so I didn't entirely withdraw my aid. You see, I put a lot of work into pacifying your neighbors. Have you ever wondered why all those large nations surrounding you, with their corrupt, greedy rulers, don't ever decide they want all your unexpected prosperity for themselves? It's not easy for demons to cast mind-altering spells. 
That's why we prefer contracts to have our bidding done. But I've made it so they don't find Rack to be a tempting target. Imagine what would happen if that were to go away. Much worse than a famine, don't you agree? So, I don't believe for a second that you won't forge a contract. And judging by your expression, you're going to do the sensible thing and do it right away, aren't you? Lovely. I just need a fingerprint with your blood as the ink. You'll press it right into here, next to your predecessors. Isn't that nice? You're joining in a great legacy, even if it's a secret one. Does it really matter what the contract entails? Is there some price that you're not willing to pay for your people's happiness? Is there anything that could possibly be in this contract that would lead you to let your entire kingdom perish instead? That's what I thought. Here's a knife for the blood. And with that, the contract is signed. The two of us are now eternally bonded together. Now, you wanted to know about the contract. I'm more than happy to tell you about it. Naturally, you'll need to know what your responsibilities will be. I just like to force people to sign the contract blindly to help them understand their place. The first price you pay for my help is, naturally, your soul. I'll be collecting it upon your death. Oh, I most certainly have plans for it. I like to think that I'm a generous master, though. So don't worry about it too much. It's not like worrying will help, anyway. It's already done. Aside from that, there's a handful of other things I need. You recall those cultural enrichment areas your predecessors built? There's a hidden purpose to those. They're mana collection facilities. Oh, it's quite simple. During their construction, a few cursed talismans I provided were buried underground. All humans possess small amounts of mana, and the talismans leech some of that mana away. Oh, relax. It's not painful or dangerous in any way. It does stunt the development of magical skills. With my help, you don't have any need for mages in this country anyways. Oh, what a funny thing to say. But I absolutely can do that. Your predecessors all agreed to it, and now you have, too. Interesting. That's a new one. Nobody ever claimed they'd stop me before. Not after signing the contract. What exactly do you expect to do? Oh, I'm not mad. With how long I've lived, anything unexpected is always welcome. You're welcome to try and stop me however you like. Just keep in mind that if you violate the contract, your kingdom dies. Anyways, what was I saying? You're required to construct one more of those cultural enrichment sites. Construction must begin within the next five years, and conclude within the next ten. Not too hard, really. You can design it however you like, just as long as it performs its function and extracts mana. I have to say, I'm impressed by how creative some of them have been. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Next up, I need an animal sacrifice every full moon. Goats are appreciated, but I'll take anything else as long as it has at least as much blood. And once every 13 years, I'll need a human sacrifice as well. I don't really care where you get the human from. Most of your predecessors just grabbed a criminal off of death row. You can get them however you want, though. <laughs> Look at you. So furious. Honestly, I'm impressed by how much more upset you were about the mana harvesting and sacrifices than forfeiting your own soul. So selfless. But don't forget how much you get in return. So long as you hold up your end, 
Your crop harvest will always be plentiful. You'll never need to go to war. Unless you want to, of course. And you'll never have to worry about natural disasters or any form of misfortune. Oh, and not all of the perks are just for the kingdom in general. I'm more willing to do all sorts of favors for you. Oh, you know, the standard sort of things. I can give you unimaginable wealth, destroy your enemies, or find you your true love. One of your ancestors actually asked for my hand in marriage. Can you believe that? A cheeky thing to ask. But it was amusing, so I went along with it. It was rather fun, pretending to be a human for a few decades. Really? You'll never ask for favors? Well then, suit yourself. And don't worry, I won't judge you when you eventually change your mind. You're only human, after all. Anyway, that's the whole contract. You're turning out to be quite an amusing human. Can't wait to see what you do during your reign. <laughs> and I'm especially curious to see how you plan to rebel against me. And that should be plenty entertaining. Now, unless there was anything else, I'm going to go back. Life is busy for an archdemon, you know. But Orak is a special project of mine. So don't be afraid to summon me if you need to. I can always make time. Until next time. Ta-ta!